Okay, so first of all, I want to say thank you for organizing the session because it's really important to understand how the archaeology, digital archaeology, is teached all, all over the Europe, all over the world. And uh, my concern was to uh, see how it's teached in Poland. So in the last decade, actually, we observe quite a, a big progress in the teaching of digital archaeology all over the Europe. And uh, in Poland, uh, we can see that digital archaeology is teached or on the separated or on the separated courses, which are um, concentrated on teaching na digital documentation. Uh, we see also that many universities offer for students courses courses of GIS separated in the 30 or 60 hours of teaching. And you can also see that some university ma offer uh, extra courses for ma data collection, digital data collection, uh, and as well uh, ma like uh, geophysical, using ge geophysical instruments and uh, uh, analyzing data, uh, LiDAR data or the photo, uh, uh, air photography. So uh, the main idea was because of the lack of regulation in Polish law about teaching digital archaeology. And uh, uh, that's, the, that's the problem, uh, but uh, which uh, create uh, different approaches. But of course, we, we understand that uh, university has uh, freedom um, in the teaching how they, how they like. So uh, the aim was to uh, understand how the stakeholders uh, uh, see this problem and uh, have view about this topic. So uh, in my research, I decided to compare opinions both of universities and uh, companies to understand uh, how uh, these two uh, things uh, came together. So in Poland, uh, we have uh, 19 universities, uh, but only 11 uh, archaeological institute, institutes, departments. Uh, and how we see on the map, there is a uh, 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 distribution of the uh, archaeological institutes in the regions. In the uh, blue, we can s in the in the green blue, we can see the uh, regions where two universities with archaeology. And in the purple, we can see university where there one institute. In the brown, we can see the regions without archaeological institutes. So, um, the methodology of the research first was to uh, analyze uh, the course descriptions from these universities. Um, I have collected 28 descriptions. Then, now uh, was to create a uh, to do some preliminary survey among the uh, archaeological, sur archaeological survey what they asked for uh, for uh, uh, for the uh, people which giving reports from the archaeological excavations uh, and uh, uh, research and afterwards uh, was uh, idea to create the form uh, on the basis on the this two previous uh, research so uh, <coughs> I have analyzed uh, I have sent it, uh, the, the request to 11 uh, universities. I uh, received uh, 11 stable answers by 10 different universities. And uh, I have also sent the uh, form to the employers. And I received uh, uh, 12 suitable answers. Uh, and uh, on this level, I need to say sorry that uh, I have small data set, but uh, my questions were detailed, so uh, we can still uh, make some conclusion about this. So in the form we had a, a mixed set of questions, some were open and uh, there were multiple choices. So a um, good question is about uh, teaching hours. So how many teaching hours uh, supposed to be at the university? So uh, uh, we can see uh, on the first uh, uh, pie chart uh, answers from the lecturers of the second employers and uh, what we can observe that that half of the employers see that uh, uh, 30 to 60 courses is enough uh, in the same situation 80 percent 
80% of the uh, lecturers see that it's not enough. Now, in the later, uh, in the research, we can see a uh, little uh, contradiction for this uh, information which we get here. But we can see also here that the, uh, more than 60% uh, of the uh, university lectures expect more than 120 hours of digital archaeology and uh, uh, in the same situation, 32% uh, uh, of the employers. So, uh, uh, first, uh, uh, we, I address the question about uh, opinion, about abilities, what kind of abilities uh, uh, should have uh, uh, alums of university. And uh, I have addressed the same question both to the companies and to the university teachers. Uh, so the first was about preparing stratigraphic uh, graphs, preparing data sets, concluding advanced stratigraphic anali analysis, uh, conducting simple stat statistical analysis, creating advanced database, creating simple database. So this set of question is about to doing uh, general analysis. Of the data. So in this uh, 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 chart we can see that um, uh, universities uh, teach more than the uh, market expect in the level of the uh, of the uh, doing analysis in the uh, statistical programs and the other programs. So uh, uh, my proposal is that uh, as a bachelor level is the uh, in general professional level and the master level is the uh, scientific level so uh, the statistical uh, programs supposed to be teached at the master <coughs> not the bachelor level because of course uh, at the universities uh, there is a limited uh, number of the teaching hours and uh, to it's important to choose what is the, the most important in the uh, one stage of teaching so the second uh, question was about uh, uh, doing general uh, uh, working in the CAD and the GIS uh, uh, software. So here we see that um, in general, uh, both uh, universities, the lecturers and the companies agree that the GIS is, is important. Uh, but we see also that uh, um, uh, companies expect more, uh, uh, more uh, abilities in the CAD programs. So the first set, third set of questions was about uh, uh, presentation of data and the publishing. So uh, was the question about preparing multiple presentation, preparing um, multimedia presentation, editing scientific uh, text, uh, presenting survey result by website, uh, processing raster data in the graphic programs, uh, processing documentation in the vector graphic, and prepare it for the grammatical models. So um, we can uh, see that uh, on the uh, last uh, three categories, uh, both university and the companies uh, agree. Uh, and we see that uh, on the uh, first three, that uh, um, university expect uh, more than the uh, companies. So now. Uh, Next uh, step after the uh, analysis of the uh, data, data which was collected by the forum, uh, I have uh, prepared uh, some kind of the smile uh, uh, category uh, graph where the green it means that uh, there is uh, agreement between the companies and the uh, universities, while uh, the red it means that is a disagreement, and yellow it means that. Uh, it's a middle situation. So in the statistic and data analy analysis, it's the agreement. But if we go to the stratigraphy software, uh, I don't know how much time I have. It's left. Uh, we see that uh, uh, especially companies uh, request for more uh, teaching in the strategy program. Now in the GIS software, uh, we can see that. Uh, uh, what uh, also we could observe on the previous uh, research that um, the companies asked for uh, abilities in the QGIS uh, more than in uh, the 
uh, commercial like RGIS uh, program. Um, we can uh, see also that uh, photogrammetry is uh, really welcome by the uh, companies and they ask for the uh, advanced uh, abilities in this uh, field. And uh, it's interesting about the CAD programs that uh, I have met many answers where uh, really companies required uh, from the uh, workers uh, high uh, abilities in the, in the um, CAT programs. So uh, because CAT is not so that much teach at the university, uh, that's a good, uh, uh, good information. And also uh, we have information about uh, 2D and 3D uh, computer graphics software, but also companies ask for this uh, na graphic. So na in conclusion, uh, we can say that universities are providing good level of software na knowledge, but companies uh, must ask for more, uh, especially computer graphics and uh, uh, like uh, uh, two and three uh, computer uh, uh, 2D and 3D and uh, CAD software. So thank you very much, and uh, if you have any opinion, I'm, I'm welcome for the follow-up.